Hello, what is up Facebook family? How you doing? I wanted to shoot this quick video. Those of you watching on replay, what's going on? I'm here at the Limelight Wellness Center. This is where I practice uh, chiropractic part-time. And I had a really interesting uh, client revelation that I knew that I looked into my life and I thought, I can't really leave this up for you guys. And so I wanted to share this with you so that you can kind of see uh, you know the holiday season coming up, the challenges that are uh, that are coming up with family dynamics, with relationships. From this point forward, from this moment all the way to Valentine's Day, you we will notice statistically the highest number of breakups. So something happens to us from the moment um, where we start to get into the holiday season and then all of those expectations that we have where we look at our partners and we just think, okay, is this the person? Is this really, does this really match my fantasy? Does this match the reality that I want? And this is where the beginning of the breakdowns happen. So uh, I wanted to give you a little... Uh, taste of some information that is going to really help you so that when you um, are noticing the way that your the people in your life, maybe your children, uh, your partner, um, if you're in a relationship limbo and this is people get stuck, why they show up in a certain way and what you need to do in order to have people show up in a different way for you. Um, first of all, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Nima Romani. I'm a chiropractor. Uh, in training, uh, understanding that uh, people have gone through many um, uh, stresses that got them to see me in the first place. The stress would be the underlying trigger why they've come to see me in the first place. So what I've done is uh, always dreamed of going deeper than just the structural. I created a method called the overview method, which helps people change the story uh, change their perceptions that are creating stress in their hearts, in their bodies, in their minds, in their souls, uh, causing them to be out of alignment, and I help them get powerfully aligned and on purpose. And so, uh, for those of you um, tuning in, let me know where you're signing in from. Are you uh, local? Are you in Canada? I'm here at the Limelight Wellness Center, still in practice, uh, seeing just part-time, just because I love getting my, my hands on people. Um, but I wanted to share how you can actually change how people show up for you. Um, usually what will happen is there will be arguments, there will be fights, there will be breakdowns that happen in relationships. And then we, what we have a tendency to do is we have a tendency to complain about other people, that they're being mean, that they're being bitchy, that they're being assholes. A lot of my clients, um, a lot of my clients will complain that their partners or the people that they're in stuck in kind of a limbo state with are assholes. They have all sorts of labels. So tell me if you can relate to that. Uh, I'd love for some engagement. One of the ways that uh, I can, it's, it's weird kind of talking into a camera. I'm used to speaking in front of live audiences so I can see engagement. So I'd really appreciate if, if, if you know anybody yourself, um, you've been noticing that the people that show up for you are really crappy. Uh, there's bitchiness, there's assholeness, um, there's meanness happening. And what I discovered is that we have an ability to actually shift the way others show up for us. Who we are, who we're being, actually has an impact on the way that other people show up for us. And simply by realizing a few things, um, realizing how much power we have in the state of, in the way that we're being, we can actually alter this. And I learned this because I had a little bit of a, a tiff with my girlfriend. And what I realized was that I have a tendency to see her, hey, what's up, Grace? I have a tendency to see her as being a bitch, to see her as being mean. That time of the month comes on and I start to see her in a way of being a bitch as a way of justifying and validating me not having to think long term. <laughs> hey, Megan, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Um, me, not, me not having to, and I shared this with, with, with my group today on the group call um, in, with the Powerfully Aligned Mastermind group. 
and I wanted to share this with you, is that if you're struggling and if you are noticing that the people around you, uh, your loved ones, are showing up in a shitty way towards you, consider the possibility that there is a persistent, there's a payoff that you have to hold on to this persistent complaint about them. So that there's, there's a payoff that, that I had to look at it. It wasn't very comfortable for me to look. And what I observed was that when I'm seeing my girlfriend being extremely pissy, bitchy towards me, and I'm looking at that and I start to look, one of the payoffs of this persistent complaint was that if I were to see her that way, if I were to consistently, persistently see her that way, what ends up happening is I now can justify not having to commit or go full on with her. And so by me seeing her that way, our perceptions and our thoughts, we will create a campaign to support any story that we want. So if you have an underlying payoff or a motive to see your partner as an asshole, as a jerk, or see your boss, or perhaps those of you who work in offices and you have employees, and you want to justify seeing them as being complete assholes, seeing them as complete jerks, and seeing them as the enemy, then your perceptions are going to blind you of anything that sees them as the opposite. It's pretty powerful. You know this to be true. How many of you have had uh, known somebody? Hey, what's up, Karen? How many of you have known somebody who um, you just thought of them as complete assholes? And then all of a sudden there was a reunion or there was a connection made and an understanding that was made. And then all of a sudden they started seeming wonderful to you. That's what I'm talking about. We have the power to change how other people show up to us simply by the listening and the viewing that we have in them. <laughs> yes, bonus. It'll be up on the uh, page later today. I'm trying to have some... Uh, I'm having a little bit of uh, technical difficulties, Karen, so we're uh, trying to get that group call up there for you. Um, but this is exactly what I was talking about. The way that I see my partner, the way that I see my father, the way that I see my mother, the way that I see everyone around me is how usually they show up. And it's actually very powerful to decide and what commitment that I made was to, to Amanda was, you know what, I'm really going to see you in the most greatest version of you. So if you're noticing why people are showing up to you in a shitty way, and they're constantly and you're constantly finding yourself persistently complaining about it, consider the possibility that you are watching them in a certain way and you have a payoff of seeing them in their worst case scenario so that you can justify not being full, playing full on, justify holding back, justify your bitchiness or your assholeness. And it's very humbling when you start to look at it that way. So if people are, so, so I'm gonna invite you to look at this. So look at who hasn't really been showing up for you in the best of ways. Who's been an asshole to you lately? Who's been a bitch to you lately? And really look in and dig in. I had to do the same thing. I did it this morning. It was very humbling. What's the benefit to you? What's the payoff to you of seeing them in the crappy way? What story do you get to play out? What victimhood do you get to play out? What justification do you have? Karen, I know that you probably will be able to really get this as well, Karen. By seeing them as the enemy, what story do you get to hold on to? What responsibility do you get to avoid? Really take a look at yourself because if, if you don't get this right, you'll walk around thinking that other people are out to get you and who you're being and how you're being has no impact on the way other people show up. It's not true. I have been able to see a complete change in the way my parents show up in my life simply by changing my listening of them and the, the, the stories that I have about them. And so think about who you're not showing up, who's not showing up well for you and consider that what would happen if you decided to only see the greatest version of them because they have a light side and they have a dark side. 
just like you. Christine, that person, perfect for you right now. That person who we're talking about is just as much of a sweetheart as they are an asshole, just like you. <laughs> just like you. You have a light and a dark. You have a duality. But when, my, when my, I put on the dark colored glasses and I want to only see them as the enemy, start to look at yourself and go, why should I? What, what's in it for me? What's the payoff of me constantly whining and bitching and complaining to them about them being the enemy? What do I gain out of it? And if you want to have them show up differently, call yourself out on it. Call yourself out on exactly how you're seeing them, how you're viewing them, and what you're creating with your perceptions. And then I'm going to also invite you to take on perhaps take on seeing and viewing them completely differently. What would happen to them? I challenge you over the next week, Carolyn, you get, you got it. I'm hearing you. My ex rang this morning and changed my plans for the weekend. I was angry and frustrated thinking about what you've said. Corrine, think about this. What would happen if you only chose? Yeah, exactly. Eric, it, it includes all your Jewish family as well, bro, <laughs> and your wife and your mother. And I noticed I did this with my mother too. Yeah, absolutely. Karen, absolutely. What would happen if all of a sudden you started only viewing their greatness and holding them accountable to that and all of the darkness that, they're, that they display just like you do, you judgmental prick? <laughs> What if you were to only see them as their, as their light and you were to listen to them from that perspective and hold them accountable to that? I promise you, they show up differently to you. I've tried this. This is a big part. I'm actually incorporating this into the program, into the communication part, which is really about paying attention to what payoff you have of seeing them as the jerk, the asshole, or the bitch. What's in it for you by seeing them that way? And uh, let, me, let me give you some examples because these are the ex examples. You get to avoid responsibility, your part of the dynamic being so shitty. Number two, you get to play victim and um, justify where you're at and the, the fact that you're not elevated or you're not moved on further. Number three, you get to dominate the other person because you're so disempowered and now your little persistent, bitchy, whiny little complaint gets to dominate them or avoid being dominated. And number four, the most important to us human beings, we get to be right. So, <clears throat> yeah, justified your opinion. Absolutely. So, how to show up, how to have others show up differently. <clears throat> Saw you at Lyceum. Hey, Leo, nice to, nice to see you, nice to meet you. <clears throat> so how to have other people show up differently. Why? Because th this is a stressful period of time in, our, in, the, in the year, the holiday season. You're about to see family. They're going to trigger the shit out of you. They're going to dominate. You're going to try to dominate. How to change the way they show up for you is for you to own up to the payoffs you get in seeing them as the wicked villains. And then part two, which <clears throat> I challenge you to do, this is what I did, is to call yourself out to those people and say, hey, mom, hey, so-and-so. I've been playing a victim story because I wanted to be right and see you as wrong. And what's that been like for you? And that is going to totally have them show up completely differently. They're going to feel heard. They're going to feel loved. You're going to have more connection. When you get these tools right, these are the tools that I teach my, my students in the Powerfully Aligned Mastermind. And as Karen was saying, it's completely been transformational. When you take this work on, a rising tide lifts boats and you're going to notice all of your family rising with you. If you're having problems with your kids, if they're having challenges, you want them to be fixed, chances are it's you that needs to do the work. That would be wise to do the work and then they start shifting for you. It's a very powerful thing. 
Um, I, I work with those who are ready to absolutely take this work on and transform the way others, not only the way that others show up in their life, not only the way that their world starts to change and they start to feel more fulfillment, they start to feel more power, they start to feel more freedom in their lives. They have less of, an, less of a, a care about confronting people and telling the truth. Leo, I'm, I'm grateful to, to have uh, met you at uh, Lyceum. Um, just to be able to, you know, that's what started happening for me. When I started taking on this work, I started having deeper connections with people. My business started going up. Um, uh, deeper relationships, which is really what it's all about, isn't it? Our lives are basically the quality of our relationships and the way that we show up for others and the way that others show up for us. And if we're not paying attention and we're not doing the work, the necessary work, then life isn't as fulfilling and rewarding. And so I'm offering, if this resonated with you, uh, I encourage you to take this on. If you're having challenges with the way others are showing up for you and they're crap towards you and you're crap towards yourself and you want to change and you want this to completely transform, there are a few key um, uh, roadblocks, mistakes that you might be making. If you're interested in having a conversation to see if you're ready to be the cause in the matter of complete transformation to the point where your life is unrecognizable within 30 to 60 days, send me a private message. I'd love to have a chat with you and see if this is something that's right for you. Nat, God bless you. You've been one of those people who've taken on the work and seen a change in the way that you show up for yourself and then other people are treating you way differently as well. So. Reach out, I'd love to chat, and this is only for those ready to take action and see a transformation in the way that others show up for them. And they're tired of being disrespected, and they wanna be the ones to take it on in their lives and see uh, a massive transformation. I would love it if you would just get some, um, you know, show some love, some hearts, uh, maybe share this with somebody that you know or in a group that you know, sh please share this in your, with your people um, who are constantly worried about how others are showing up and feeling disrespected, feeling like victims in their lives and are ready to actually transform that. Thank you for the love, the hearts. Oh my gosh, it's, I, I need it. It's like the, the, the approval is so amazing. I, I appreciate it very much. <laughs> so I just wanted to leave you with that concept, with this, with this thought, with this one thought is that who you're being actually has a huge impact on the lives of other people and how, how they show up for you. And it's probably the most rewarding and fulfilling thing, taking on um, the, the way of being that others show up in a really powerful place uh, with love, with connection. Thank you so much, Yvonne, for the love. God bless you guys. Um, are, if there are any other questions, comments, concerns, please continue the conversation in the Art of Powerful Alignment group. Uh, comment down there. How have people been showing up for you? What transformations have you noticed just by taking on this type of work or this type of thinking? Please share in, in a way that others can be touched and moved and inspired by what you have to say. And uh, I really look forward to, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to do another Facebook Live. I was just inspired by a session that I had earlier, which led me to look at myself and go, holy crap. Amanda hasn't been showing up as great as of late because I've been seeing her a certain way because these are the payoffs that I'm getting. And we nip it in the bud by calling it out and sharing our revelations with people. And this is what creates more love and affinity, what creates power and freedom. Uh, Beata, God bless you. It's what creates a lot more heart-opening moments of vulnerability and connection, which is what we all crave, especially during the holiday season. It's what we need, uh, what we all crave. And... From now until Valentine's Day, we see a spike in the amount of breakups. And I guarantee you, it's because they're not really mastering what I just shared. And so I'm on this journey and I'm committed to doing everything I can to peel back the layers and learn more about myself and love myself more so that I can love others more. And as I do that and my journey continues, I see my dreams manifesting. So I just love sharing that. And uh, hopefully that was of use to you. Please let me know if that was of value. Uh, in the comment section what your takeaway was share this and uh, god bless you guys and we'll see you at the next perfect time